When you visit a place like the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, it's hard to pick out what to feature for this time travel series. The whole place is filled with crazy history, but we discovered some cool connections and facts about the lesser known final mission to the moon, Apollo 17. And December of 2022 marks 50 years since this mission and the last humans to set foot on the moon. The crew of Apollo 17 was Commander Gene Cernan, Lunar Module Pilot Harrison Schmidt, and Command Module module pilot Ronald Evans. As both a geologist and astronaut, Schmidt was the first scientist sent to the moon. I really respect his geology game. Like, I collect rocks, but that dude, he's like, nope, going to the moon. Some of their training included geology trips to Big Bend National Park in Texas. We really want to get there someday. And the crew was accompanied by five mice named by the astronauts, Fee, Fi, Fo, Fum, and Fui. Apollo 17 launched on December 7th, 1972, shortly after midnight. The first night launch of a Saturn V rocket. An exhibit pieced together with rocket segments from the scrapped Apollo 18 through 20 missions is on display at the Johnson Space Center and represents the massive size of that beast. During the journey to the moon, Schmidt took the iconic photo of the Earth known as the Blue Marble, arguably one of the most recognizable photos in history. The target on the moon, there's a target on the moon! <laughs> that target on the moon was the Taurus Littrow Valley. Evans stayed in the command module named America, which is on display at the Johnson Space Center. And Cernan and Schmidt descended to the moon's surface on board the lunar module named Challenger. Yes, the same name as the second space shuttle. The two astronauts spent just over 22 hours over three EVAs using the Lunar Roving Vehicle, or LRV, to collect lunar samples. That LRV is still right where they left it. My grandparents are from Hibbing, and they had like a collection of cars that they were gonna restore one day and they're all just part of the forest now. A rock they brought back is at the Johnson Space Center and is one of only eight in the world the public can actually touch. And we got to! Before getting back into the lunar module, Cernan, the last man on the moon, said, We leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return. With peace and hope. Mankind. Fitting words 50 years later as NASA endeavors to return to the moon with Artemis, the twin sister of Apollo in Greek mythology. The first launch, which is unmanned, is scheduled for November 14th, 2022. Evans died in 1990 and Cernan passed away in 2017. Schmidt currently lives in New Mexico where he once served as a U.S. Senator and even spends some of his summers right here in Minnesota. Thanks again for time traveling with us. If you want to learn more about Apollo 17 or find out how to watch the Artemis launch, follow the links in the description. Until next time, 